Welcome to Breathe While Coaching. My name is Coach Erin. Today I will guide you through a guided breathing meditation to help you slow down and become more calm and settled in your nervous system. If you're experiencing overwhelm, stress, anxiety, specifically panic or hyperventilation syndrome, as well as air hunger, the sensation that you feel like you can't get a satisfying breath and therefore your body is prompting you to breathe harder, faster, bigger, deeper breaths, and you keep breathing these big breaths, you're noticing your breath, Anytime you're really hyper aware of your breathing, it's going to create more of that stress response. So what we want to do is we want to create a little bit of awareness with our breath and how we're breathing, but we don't want to get stuck where our breath is controlling us. We want to learn how to consciously breathe in a way that is slow with the correct breathing pattern so that we can get better breathing habits throughout the day. So once you have some better breathing habits, this can make a big impact on hyperventilation, panic attack, as well as that symptom of air hunger. These are usually accompanied with anxiety. And so we wanna work at our anxiety from a holistic place. There's many things you can do beyond breath work to help support yourself with anxiety, but breathing is a component of this. And so if you're experiencing that panic and the air hunger sensation, then we want to make sure that we're breathing well and we wanna overcome some of these breathing pattern disorders. So this is what today's session is all about. Settle in, find a comfortable place to lie down or sit down. You really want to feel supported in your environment. So grab a blanket, grab pillows, put the earbuds in, whatever is going to make you feel more safe and more at ease in this moment. Now, as we start to settle into our breathing practice today, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes, bring a smile to your face, lighten up the mood a little bit. Dealing with anxiety is extremely overwhelming at times and so just lightening up that mood when you smile you release a little bit of oxytocin it feels really good in the body soften the face now release that smile and just settle into the ground beneath you notice what you feel notice if you feel the weight of your body without judging or criticizing yourself just settle into this moment now close the mouth we want to be nasal breathing especially through the inhale so when you inhale, I want you to breathe in through the nose. When you exhale, notice the air coming out of the nose as well. When we breathe through the nose, this slows down our breathing rate. For many people I work with who are having panic attacks and experiencing air hunger and anxiety, the breathing rate is often too fast. So simply by shutting your mouth and breathing through the nose, you are going to slow down your breathing rate. Now you may think that you don't breathe out of the mouth a lot, but I want you to tune into this throughout the day, even at night, notice if you're breathing out of the mouth. If you wake up in the morning with a really dry mouth, or maybe you've experienced drooling and those types of things, that's gonna let us know that we're breathing out of the mouth during rest. We want to have the nose as our primary breathing mechanism. If you notice throughout the day when you're rushed or you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe when you exercise, your mouth breathing. If you have anxiety, you want to first start with switching your breathing pattern to more of a nasal breathing pattern. So this could be where you stop today. And that's totally fine. Just slowing down getting comfortable, finding a safe environment, and breathing through the nose. You can take baby steps in your healing. These little, small steps towards more of a holistic, well state are going to add up. So I want to encourage you today. 
that this could be enough for somebody out there if this is your first time and maybe you're not used to breathing out of the nose. If you want to join me and continue further, then we're going to find a better pace. Okay, so a rate. What is your breathing rate? Let's work for a balanced breathing pace. So that's a four second inhale followed by a four second exhale. Just notice how that feels. Inhaling for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Relax. Don't try to control your breath. Just let it go. Let it be more natural for a moment. So that's just a little bit of a balanced breathing rate. You can come back to that 4-4 breathing anytime you're feeling a little out of balance. Let's finish our class today with working on our breathing pattern. Usually I like to start with the breathing pattern, but today we did a little differently and that's okay. If you're able to put your hands on your ribs right now, I would love for you to do that. Your rib cage is right below the heart in the center of the torso. You have the rib cage that wraps around the front of the body as well as the back. So it's like a full circle around your midsection and in your body. When you inhale, what I see a lot of people want to do is breathe up, breathe vertically. So they kind of suck in and reach up on their inhale. They take these big, deep, reaching breaths. If you have panic attacks and air hunger, stress and anxiety, you're going to want to breathe in a reverse pattern from that. So breathing, sucking in on the inhale is going to stimulate the nervous system and it's going to move your respiratory diaphragm in a, a way that's not going to give you the benefit that you want for stabilizing your mood. So what we want to do when we breathe, we want to feel like our ribs are expanding out laterally. That means when you inhale through the nose, you should feel an opening, a stretch, 360 degrees in your rib cage. It should open up horizontally or laterally. Instead of sucking in on the inhale, you want to expand everything out. Then on the exhale, everything comes in. So if this pattern is new to you, I want you to focus in and start to feel what it feels like for you to breathe in a little bit of a stretch in that middle section, your belly, your low back, your pelvic floor, your ribs all open up and stretch out. And then when you exhale, try to squeeze out all that air. See if you can fully exhale and empty and then repeat that. So you're going to inhale, feel a little stretch. It's about a four second inhale. Then take your time to exhale and go to the end of your breath, fully empty. Once you feel like you've got a little bit of that squeeze on the exhale, you inhale again, about a four second inhale. And then follow your breath, exhale out of the nose and go to the end of your breath. Get a little bit of an emptying, almost a little pause at the end. You'll inhale, stretch and open. Just trying to get the respiratory diaphragm to work and then you exhale, go to the end of your breath. So your breath on the exhale might be a little bit longer than your inhale, that's good. That helps us calm down the nervous system. But I want you to lead here. I want you to be empowered to make this practice your own. So working on that inhale through the nose for four seconds, and then the exhale to the end of your breath with a gentle pause at the bottom. Let's do three more breaths just like that. You're doing good, stay with it, tune in. And as you're finishing up that third breath, I want you to 
fully exhale and then relax. Don't try to control your breath anymore. Notice if you immediately start judging yourself, if you immediately start criticizing yourself. Part of being more well is starting to heal some of this inner critic, this harsh, judgmental inner talk and starting to be more encouraging and loving and uplifting towards ourselves. So just notice and see if there's something perhaps more encouraging you could say to yourself in this moment, like awesome job taking time out to do a breathing session. You're doing great. Each step you make in a positive direction is going to change the trajectory of your life. So this is like an input or a deposit into your future self and your well-being. If you found this session helpful, if you want more of these, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm Erin. I'm the creator of Breathe Well, Live Well, which is a private online coaching program to overcome stress and anxiety, specifically breathing pattern disorders like hyperventilation and air hunger. This is an eight-week course where I partner with you using wellness coaching and my experience as a corrective exercise specialist to overcome this very frustrating and difficult beast of breathing pattern disorders. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Let me know where you're coming from. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to meet with me one-on-one, -on -one, I offer all clients, new clients, right now a free coaching session. So that's a 30-minute discovery call. I promise you I will bring you value in this coaching call. And a lot of my clients who go on to work with me end up taking this coaching call. So it's not a sales call. It is a time for me to hear what you're going through with anxiety and stress and breathing pattern disorder. And then I can give you some valuable feedback and we're going to see if we're a good fit or not. So no pressure. There'll be a link in the description if you want to jump on a discovery call. Other than that, thank you for giving me your time for trusting me in this journey. Keep working on the nasal breathing pattern, working on slower breathing rate and, and working on not a paradoxical sucking in pattern, but an accessing of your respiratory diaphragm. So that 360 degree breathing pattern. Again, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Have a wonderful day or evening. Goodbye.